Okay, so I have my lining panels. Um, I'm just going to look for my zipper foot because I suddenly realised I don't have that with me. There we are. Thank you. My lining panels, two lining panels and a zipper. My zipper is longer than my lining panels and longer than I need. I find it a lot easier to do this with a longer zipper. It means the zipper pull's not in the way all the time. So I'm going to take one of my lining panels and they have been interfaced and I'm going to lay my zipper right side up along the top long edge. It doesn't really matter which edge as long as it's one of the longer sides. Obviously if your fabric inside is directional you want the direction of the fabric to be in the right sort of orientation. Now I'm not going to clip it, I usually don't so I'm not going to now. If you feel that you want to clip it then that's absolutely fine. I'm just going to re-thread the machine because it's come unthreaded. But I'm going to stitch along that edge to secure my zipper using a scant quarter of an inch seam allowance. Just a couple of back stitches at the beginning to secure my stitching. You don't want it coming adrift. It doesn't matter which way your zipper is laying, whether it's laying left to right or right to left at this point. So I've now secured my zipper to the top of my first lining panel. I'm going to take my second lining panel and with the first lining panel I'm just going to unfold that zipper. And I'm going to lay the zipper again right side up so the pull is facing upwards. Um, along the top edge of my second lining panel now. The one thing I will say is that you must make sure that the sides of your lining panels match up. The bottoms won't and that's fine at this point. So just make sure that your lining panels are matched. And again, you can clip this if you want to, um, but we're going to stitch along that edge using a scant quarter of an inch seam allowance. And now we have one zipper inserted between our two um, lining panels. So I'm going to take my pressing mat, lay in my lining panels so that they're wrong side up. I'll take my iron and I'm just going to press across that zipper to press the seam allowances open on either side. And I turn it over so that I make sure that I've got no wrinkles on the other side because sometimes you get like a little pucker at the side where the fabric just doesn't fold over properly so it's always worth giving it a press on both sides and this is the side that you'll actually be able to see so you don't want any puckers at the top there. I'm going to take my zipper pull and make sure that it's within um, the two lining panels so you can see there that the zipper pull is actually now sitting between the two lining panels. And I'm just going to do a couple of stitches across the side of the zipper, where, sort of level with the side of the um, lining panels, just to secure that and make sure that that zipper doesn't open. And I'm going to do the same at the other end, just to make sure that the zipper stays where it needs to be, doesn't undo itself, the zipper pull doesn't come off, because once the zipper pull comes off, it's a nightmare. <laughs> I'm going to trim off the ends of those zippers. And you can see just having that, I need to just trim off a little bit more there, I haven't been very careful with that one. Um, just having that zipper a little bit longer means that you don't have to contend with having the zipper head in the way. It's just a lot, lot easier. 